I think that's fake. Actually, is it fake? Lil Baby did a word job with denying that shit. I seen a tweet he put out. He said, man, even if I did cheat, I treat my girl well. I buy her mad gifts. I'm like, oh, my God. Lil Baby, like, you got to learn from future. <laughs> There's a video of Lil Baby cheating? No, it's not. Future had a line about that. He said he'll cheat on a chick and won't even apologize. Fuck that. What's the name of that song? If you late, Cardi dropping on Christmas, niggas. Kanye and some JaVinci dude, they executive producing it, okay? That's the big news, okay? They caught it, like, I, we gave the news, like, a while ago, all right? Oh, it was on Low Life, right? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was Low Life for the weekend. All right, let me see what else is going on. Yeah, if Lil Baby pays $16,000 for some, y'all gonna be honest with you, dog. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I gotta keep it real with y'all in a real conversation when it comes to tricks. Your favorite rappers are tricks. Your favorite, like most of these niggas in this industry, if you find a rapper or any person within this entertainment shit, if you, like, you'll be asking your act, why don't you, like, fuck with, like, these, like, popping chicks who are, like, you know what I mean, in the industry? Nigga, I'm cheap. I'm not paying for nothing. Bro, most of these chicks are glorified escorts. Like, like, surprise. Glorified fucking escorts. This is a price list to fuck with most of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. My nigga Joe Buddy put me up on game. He gave me a price. He gave me the price for, for like a mad bitch. On it. I'm like, I said, huh? He said, nigga, that's like 4500 to fuck. I said, what? He said, yeah. All these, bro, I'm telling you. I was naming all type of chicks that I was like, oh, my God. He said, yeah. He's like, it's, it's 2500 Piper now. Nigga, I was bewildered. <laughs> Fucking shocked. <laughs> Nigga, I still barely believe him. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, we went to the strip club after that. So. And, 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 and I ain't gonna lie, all the bitches in the club knew, knew Joe's name. Oh, my God. Joey! I said, what the fuck? How you get the bitches in a strip club to just know your name like this? We went in there like, we just chilling. All of a sudden, Joe says, we're going to the top floor. I'm looking like, Joe, it's roped off. We can't go over there. Like, no, this is we got to be up among these people. All of a sudden, they open that shit and spread the red carpet for that nigga. I said, oh. I said this is a vet. <laughs> but I'm cheap. I'm motherfucking cheap. I'm realizing, man. I just can't see myself giving giving a chick no two thousand dollars. Like for what? To fuck? Now l let me explain my cheapness. If I'm with a chick, and I'm like you know, like I'm trying to treat her nicely, like I'm with her, I'm with her. You feel me? Like it's my shorty. I might not have any objection to certain gifts. Not that cheap, I guess. But a one fuck? You must be out of your fucking mind. Because let me tell you this, man. Post nut clarity is a motherfucker. I like, and that's worse than like fucking um gambler's remorse. Y'all went to Atlantic City the other night. Man, I lost so much money. I won't even tell you how much money I lost. The amount of money I lost, nigga, I should be streaming every day. <laughs> I need five YouTube videos a day. This shit was ridiculous. <laughs> Give me one second. But imagine you spend four thousand dollars on some pussy, and as soon as you nut, you just realize, nigga, I just wasted four thousand. Like, yo, I'm gonna tell you, bro. This, that's why paying for pussy just couldn't work for a nigga like me. Because as soon as I nut, that shit was worthless. <laughs> 
There's nothing, yo, I'm telling you, yo, you ever fuck a chick and then as soon as you nut, you'd be like, man, why did I even pick this bitch up? <laughs> if I'm thinking like that, imagine me just giving you $4,000. What? Bitch, give me my money back. The hell? Yo, post nut clarity is a motherfucker, man. That's the thing that keep me from, like, nigga, I can't, I can't even give a chick no money for no fucking sexual intercourse because as soon as I nut, I'm going to be like, Bitch, get out of my presence. <laughs> Somebody says Indian Doll update. Y'all hit Indian Doll recently. She hate me for some reason. I don't know why she hate me. I don't know. But if Lil Baby paid $16,000 to fuck a chick, I'm going to keep it true with you, man. We got to start evaluating some of these lyrics that sound good and call these niggas on the cap. Like, I'm not going to lie, I sing along with it, but I don't know if I believe it. You can have the biggest bag, you, know, you got the biggest Chanel in the store if you want it. No, you can't. Fuck no. Like, I'm starting to go over these niggas' lyrics. I'm like, yo, these things have been telling us all along. You can have the biggest Chanel in the store. No, bitch. You know, no. No. Maybe little baby need to stop saying shit like that. No, you're not getting shit. I thought he was growing out of that when he said, oh, call Gunner if you want a Birkin. Did I hear Gunner with his song? Uh, with a baby Birkin? No! Stop singing about simping and tricking! Stop it, man! I'm going to keep it true with you, though. As much as we love the South Renaissance and hip-hop, these Southern niggas have brought in simping and made it synonymous with just, like, being rich. I'm blaming the South for this. When the South wasn't on top, and by the way, it's not all the South, because the salute to, you know what I mean, UGK, you know what I mean, Pimp C, he wasn't on that bullshit. But I just never heard a New York rapper just, like, brag about his wealth by talking about what he buys for women. I just can't even see it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it true with you? I really want to say, yo, my nigga, I'm going to tell you this right now. I am one one five thousandth as lit as Lil Baby. And chicks is and chicks is throwing me the pussy like it's a boomerang, nigga. <sighs> nigga, I gotta duck to, to not catch some some new pussy. I'm tell So Lil Baby's probably he gets you're supposed to get the cream of the crop any chick he want. If he's paying sixteen thousand, we're fucking doomed, bro. We're doomed! If the lit nigga is paying for pussy, we're done, bro. Because I ain't that lit, and I'm cheap. <laughs> I pay for a flight. <laughs> I pay for hella flights. Somebody said I be tricking too. Yeah, right, nigga. Name one. Name one thing. And I ain't buying no fucking car. Y'all niggas stop saying that, man. I'll let y'all say it for a little while. But I only let y'all say it for a little while that I could attract more chicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I, I'm the master of selling drinks. You know how many bitches hit me up like, yo, you gonna buy me a G-Wagon too? Yeah, after I fuck you like 20 times. Yeah, after the 10th time, I got bored of the pussy. Cut. <laughs> you know G-Wagon coming, you dummy. You thought I bought that? I ain't stupid. <laughs> you got finessed. <laughs> oh, my God, I just seen that. I seen on the shade room you bought like a G-Wagon for some. Oh, word? Yeah, nah, I was fucking the shit out of her, man. Like, she will let me have threesomes, everything. Oh, word? What we got to do is have a threesome. Bring your best friend? Okay. Dummy. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> I'm just saying, brother. Somebody said, I bought that. All right. I don't consider some of the stuff. I ain't going to say, oh, some of the stuff with Angelica Simpson. Bro, you could treat your girl good. And by the way, I'm not anti-treating women good. Don't get that wrong. I'm anti you paying Women that you have no ties to other than you're fucking. If you got a girl and you buy her a expensive bag, if you could afford it, I don't think that's simping and tricking. You're just showing appreciation. Now, now, every now and then, by the way, it should be reciprocated if possible. I don't think that's simping and tricking. Now, if you buying chick shit just to hang around you, that is tricking. Am I, am I, am I, uh, 
Nah, I'm hoping little baby ain't pay no sixteen thousand. That nigga keep talking about four hundred an occasion. Y'all niggas is paying his escort fees. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, I don't think baby did that, bro. Just no fucking way, bro. Do you know how lit, nigga? Do you know how lit little baby is, nigga? Do not let, yo, it's no way, bro. It's just no way. It's just fucking no way. He's too lit to be paying. That, that's why, like, to keep it real, Shorty got to, like, I, she, I, she got to show me a wire transfer from that nigga for me to believe. I, like, I just can't believe it. Y'all believe it? These bitches are, pro, yo, if they Photoshop their ass, they can Photoshop a DM. I don't believe that. These whores are Photoshopping ass, titties, all type of shit, man. Before BBLs, these hoes were doing all type of curvatures to their bodies on the fucking app of Instagram. I don't believe no, believe no screenshot from a chick. They have been trained in Photoshop and deceiving the male eyes. I don't believe it, brother. Uh-uh. What video? She got a video of the nigga? The worst part about it. The worst part about it, that chick's look that chick looks ridiculous. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This is when I realized that clout is the ultimate, like, you know what I mean, just ultimate factor. I remember when Uzi piped the shit out of uh, Bundle of Brittany, and I was looking at her like, this bitch is drop-dead gorgeous. Yo, Uzi's like 4'3". <laughs> that bitch ain't give two fucks. Pipe the fuck out of her. Was it Bundle of Brittany? I can't remember. One of them hoes. Then he, he smashed another one, and the other one, she went on, like, a whole fucking interview talking about how she was disappointed that... Uzi only let her suck his dick. Uzi ain't even want to fuck her. I'm like, God damn. Yo, when you got clout, man, it's a lot of things different out here, man. Somebody said I'm jealous? No, I'm good. I'm good. But I I'll tell you this. I mess with regular girls because, like, bro, I ain't even going to lie to you. And maybe this is tricking too. I don't know. Yeah, you, like it, it scales to it because you know, little baby paid sixteen, sixty fucking thousand. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get some Uber Eats for you. You know what I mean? I get a little hotel. I get the flight. If we add up all that, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a, I'm a real dude. My kind of like, you know what I mean? Flights these days are cheap. I be trying to put them on Spirit unless they complain. Let's see Spirit. What else? I put him in nice hotels because I got to be in a hotel too. Like, to, you know what I mean? Okay. Now, sometimes those but those are miscellaneous charges. Might come up to $1,000. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. The flight and the hotel for two nights or three nights. But handing them cash in their hand, fuck no. But 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 but, but is, that, is that a part of tricking too? Because me, I'm a type of nigga... It's not really the money. I just not giving it to you. Like I just can't see myself transferring the money to you. But I buy the flight. <laughs> Even if it's like, oh, yo, it's five hundred dollars for the ticket. I buy it. But will I give you five hundred dollars cash? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I look at it different because I don't give them the money, but I spend. I spend some of it. All right, whatever. Anyway. Man, salute to little baby's girl, man. Let me tell you this, fellas. If you're rich enough, you do what the fuck you want. Right? You do what you want when you're popping. I like watching little baby's girl tweet. She's not leaving that nigga. <laughs> you crazy. That nigga could fuck the whole world. All he got to do is buy her a new Bentley truck and shit is lit. She going to make another caption. Oh, I love this guy. He's amazing. 
There's no such thing as cheating when you're rich. And also when you're black. Because black men don't cheat. But when you're rich, it's like... Cheating is a broke is a broke nigga thing. When you're rich, a chick will understand. Trust me. All right, let me see what else has been going on. 